Welcome to our lecture online. Since we're talking about quasars, we may wonder, well, which one is the brightest? And it turns out the brightest quasar happens to be the brightest object in the entire universe. And it's known as APM 08279 plus 5255. Those are the designation of that particular quasar. It's a super luminous quasar, as we would call it. It has an absolute magnitude of about 32. However, the light coming to us from the quasar passes by another galaxy that's right in the way. So we have what we call gravitational lenses. It magnifies the image about a hundred times, but then it causes the intensity of the light to be reduced to about a factor of 10. And so what we think is about the absolute magnitude of about a minus 32, a 32 wouldn't make any sense, but a minus 32, then the effective magnitude that we see is about a minus 30, which is still an absolute bright object. So when we compare that to the sun, our sun has an absolute magnitude of about a plus 5. So when we subtract the two from one another, 5 minus a minus 30, that gives us a difference in magnitude of 35 magnitudes. Now for every 5 magnitudes, it's a factor of 100. So 7 times 100 is, yes indeed, 200 trillion, which means that that object shines or outshines the sun about 200 trillion to one. It gives off as much light as 200 trillion suns. Imagine that. That is, in brightness, 200 trillion suns, 200 billion stars. Well, that's definitely about, uh, let's see here, 10,000, like 100,000 times the magnitude of the Milky Way galaxy. 200 trillion, 200 billion, that's 1,000, that's 10,000, about 10,000 times. So, yeah, brightness-wise, I'm doing some quick math in my head, but brightness-wise, it would outshine our Milky Way galaxy about 10,000 to 1. In other words, it puts out as much light as 10,000 Milky Way galaxies, and that's a, that's a low end of estimate. It could be as much as 100,000. We could still be off by about 10 to 1 based upon what happens on the gravitational lensing. So actually the estimate is somewhere between 200 trillion and 2,000 trillion times the magnitude or the brightness of our sun. Absolutely a bright object, a massive black hole producing vast quantities of energy while it's active. And there it is, the brightest quasar and the brightest object in the universe. So what's the the galaxy in the middle? I don't know the name. I didn't look it up. <laughs> don't know what it is. Sorry. And, um, so the light bends. Like that it's, it's like a lens. So because it bends space around it and light travels this way, light will actually change direction just like it goes through a lens and changes the direction. So it acts really like a lens and it magnifies the image, although it makes it not as bright because of the magnification. Because the, the flux density of the light is diminished because it's, the image is enlarged, so yes, so <clears throat> that's why.